Welcome to Technical Studies. Today, we will learn how to read the bottom plate drawing of an API 650 storage tank. Bottom plates are typically classified based on their slope, cone up, cone down, and flat bottom. However, flat bottoms are not usually recommended for large diameter tanks due to drainage and strength concerns. Another classification is based on layout. Normal bottom plate and bottom plate with annular plates. In a normal bottom plate, the bottom shell sits on a fillet weld, which may result in an uneven joint surface. In contrast, annular plate joints provide a flat weld face, which is preferred for better strength and sealing. Let's now check what type of bottom plate is used in our tank. First, we'll go through the general details in the drawing. Annular plate outer radius is 12,557 mm. Bottom plate radius is 11,847 mm. Nominal shell radius is 12,500 mm. The overlap between the annular and bottom plate is 50 mm. Tank bottom slope. The bottom plate slopes towards the center of the tank at 2% of the radius. To calculate this, divide the tank radius by 100 and multiply by 2 to get the slope. Longitudinal plate overlap. There is a 75 mm longitudinal lap between adjacent bottom plates. The center line of the annular plate is aligned with the zero degree mark of the foundation. Joint details. Detail E in the drawing shows a typical overlap joint involving three lapped plates. This type of joint is created using the fullering method and heating is normally not allowed during the process. Detail D is created using the same method. Sectional views. Take a look at section AA. This section shows plate thickness, welding detail and overlap configuration. Note that the weld is applied from one side only. Section BB shows the bottom shell position. Key points. The annular plate projects 50 mm outward from the base of the shell. Shell to annular plate weld is a 10 mm fillet weld from both sides. The bottom plate is placed below the annular plate, overlapping by 50 mm. Section CC shows the weld joint between two annular plates. This is a site weld, and a backing strip is used where back welding is not feasible or accessible. Material list. Let's now review the material list. Bottom plates. Quantity, 
13 numbers. Thickness, 8 millimeters. Width, 2 meters. Length, 8 meters. Item number, B1. Material grade, A36M. Annular plates. Material grade A573 grade 70. Important tip. Many material handling errors happen during plate selection. Always verify the correct material grade before marking or cutting. Double check that it matches the drawing specifications. Sketch plates. Among the 13 full bottom plates, the ones that directly touch the annular plates are called sketch plates. Sketch plates are usually not perfectly square or rectangular and need to be cut to fit the shell curvature. Refer to detail A1 for annular plate positioning and weld layout. Ensure you understand the drawing thoroughly before starting fabrication. I believe I've covered all the key points necessary before beginning the bottom and annular plate fabrication. For fabrication procedures and detailed step-by-step -step methods, please watch my previous videos. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Let me know in the comments what topics you'd like me to explain next. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.